Ahava and blessings. Welcome to this video. My name is Ana Aldero and I am the CEO and founder of Mary Magdalene Mystery School. We opened the English section of our school in January 2020, very symbolic year for me um, and for us, which because it is the, 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 the downloading and the presence of the divine temple here on earth. Uh, so I think it's very important that we opened up our school in, in the English section. We've been doing it in Spanish for the past years. And um, so I can share all of this information with you. And the channeling I want to share with you today is information that I received and the channeling I received uh, from Sara Tamar, who is Yeshua and Mary Madeline's daughter. And also um, a, a channeling that re I received a few months back by Mother Anna, but I would like to to share it with you. Mother Anna is the grandmother of Yeshua and she's a very, very important figure, person and teacher in the life of Saratama. So the, the last channeling I received through Saratama was so powerful that I almost fainted. I mean, she is, she's been uh, working in a very, 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 very high vibration because she is Christ consciousness. She was born as Christ consciousness. She did not have to receive it as other masters and teachers um, who come here in the human form and receive Christ consciousness. She was born into it through the divine act of Giros Gamos, divine union of the souls of Mary Magdalene and Yeshua. So even though she was here in physical form, in all of these years she's been in the angelic realm and in the unicorn realm, which is a very high vibration realm that works with the new souls of children who come, who are coming here. And a lot are going to be coming here with this Christ consciousness. It depends on the work we're doing. So the, the message that I received from Saratama, like I said, was so strong that I almost fainted. I, I, I couldn't even get up. It was this really, really powerful. She gave me visions of the life, of her life, of the life of Mary Magdalene and Yeshua. And the, the, the message I want to share today is for women, even though men can listen to this as well, because I think it's very important for men to listen to this. Um, and it's about the arc line, the arc line of the woman. And it, it, the arc line is something that we work on a lot in different tantric and kundalini traditions. We, we study and we learn that the arc line of the female in our breasts uh, carries information about our lovers and, and sexual intimacy, sexual relationships, even uh, sexual karma. But actually the, the information she gave me was so divine and so full of light that she actually even said that in the images where the, the mother is holding the child, um, she's actually holding the energy of humanity. And she's holding the energy of humanity in the Madonna arc which is the word that she used, the Ark of the Madonna. And the Ark of the Madonna is what we have as women in our breasts. We, our, our breasts are such an important activation center as well as our womb. At the same amount of importance, the womb is where we create, the, room, the womb is where we get our power. We go into the womb and we heal, we heal lineage, we heal the shadow. We understand the power of duality and, and, and the power of unity that is within the womb. So it is so necessary to do this work going into the womb. But the arc of the Madonna that we have in our heart center holds the frequency of the Christ consciousness. And that's why the Madonna is always holding her child. This arc of the Madonna holds the frequency of the Christ consciousness. So it is so important to work on the energy of our arc line as women, to understand that we hold a vibration in our heart chakra, which is not only the heart chakra in the center, but includes the breast and the vibration we hold here, we need to expand it. We need to um, reveal the light and once we start doing this, the codes, the crystal codes of the Christ consciousness will start to activate in the arc of the Madonna. And this is something really, really important that Saratama, as a, a teacher and master of the Aquarian age, has given us to start working on this, to be aware of the power of the feminine heart. The power of the feminine heart that holds this Christ consciousness 
we're we've come to awaken this right now and that's what we we need to remember that when we hold humanity we hold humanity to to activate these codes and at the same time and the feminine heart is something that is awakening in Gaia in men and in women and to be able to open up the portal of the divine feminine so she can come in and activate the arc of the Madonna within us we need to start working on this energy and the way to start working on this energy is through the practice of receptivity the practice of receptivity is a, not even a mental practice it's so difficult to ref, to define what being receptive is and so i'm going to give you an, an equation of how to um, awaken receptivity and the practice of devotion is so important in the practice of receptivity. It awakens it because when we practice devotion, we have no expectation. Devotion is surrendering to the present moment to whatever is in front of us. The ritual, the person, the relationship, the ceremony, the practice, the sadhana, just in devotion without any expectation, just being there. And when we practice this devotion, this surrendering, we awaken the faith in our heart. And what is faith? When we have faith, we have faith in the process. We have faith that we're going to be supported, that we're going to be nourished, that we're loved. And this faith is so strong that we start to open up the holy chalice that we are. And we start to open up receptivity. The heart opens and we start to activate the arc of the Madonna within us. And we penetrate, the energies of the divine feminine penetrate through us and through the heart chakra. And this is how we start to awaken the Christ consciousness. And we also even, as we awaken the arc of the Madonna, we start to awaken the, the cosmic or the dragon egg, the dragon egg that is in Gaia, that holds the codes, the new humanity and the new matrix of the earth. So this is a very, 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 very powerful message from Saratama. And I will be sharing in this month of March, a couple of meditations to awaken the arc of the Madonna within us and to, to expand this, this crystalline code coming in right now through Saratama. And just a short little message that I want to, um, to transmit now through Mother Anna. Uh, I, I work a lot with Mother Anna because as she was a priestess of Arian world and she did train in Avalon as well. Um, Mother Anna is very special to me because I, I, I really feel her energy when I work with the, with the etheric realm and when I work with different codes. And um, one of the, the messages that she gave me a few weeks ago was the power of, of healing our whole lineage and through the coming together and, and meditating with the souls of our parents, of the mother and the father, meditating with these souls, like holding actually holding, um, uh, what would you call, circles with these souls in meditation, in visualization. And this can also help us um, to, to start um, accelerating the process of healing. Um, and, and as women working on the Ark of the Madonna, this is essential. And men too, to start to hold circles and sacred meetings with the soul energy of mother and father on a different level to purify any type of karma and any type of, of pain uh, related uh, karma that we, we actually chose to live with them. And this heals the lineage and also frees them as well. And we start to understand the purpose of uh, the spiritual family. You know, we, we always talk about that we have a blood family and a spiritual family well that, that blood family is spiritual as well okay <laughs> you can't separate it anymore it's the same thing so that is another beautiful message that i just wanted to share and um even though you may be watching this video not in march of 2020 later on it doesn't matter this information is very important and i will be sharing some videos and some work that we could do with um opening the arc of the Madonna through Saratama's energy and just allowing her to be with us, allowing her um, to, to anchor her energy here on, on earth, on Gaia. So 
I'm just going to do Buddha chant a little bit to finish. Okay, and thank you for listening. And we're going to chant. Um, we're going to chant Allah Allah Elohim Elam. Okay. Allah. Thank you.